Good morning. So today I'm at my office and I'm just doing a quick video on a concept called the personal fat threshold. So that's a fancy way to say why some people who are overweight don't get diabetes and why some people who are at normal body weight do get diabetes. And this is because we all have our own personal fat threshold where the body will store fat globally all over the body to a certain point and once it reach that, reaches that point, it's tapped out and it'll start storing fat in the pancreas and the liver. And this is when you get things like type 2 diabetes and fatty liver disease. So this is an, kind of an interesting and important concept to understand because it explains why some people um, are walking around at a normal body weight and they've got fatty liver and it can be a little bit of a surprise um, to them that they have fatty liver or diabetes and then other people walk around at a larger body weight and they don't have diabetes because their personal fat threshold where their body stores fat is a little bit higher before the body decides to start storing in other places but so when the body gets starts accumulating fat in the organs we call that an energy toxicity because it's sort of like the body saying, I have nowhere else to put this. I'm going to start putting it in the liver. I'm going to start putting it into the pancreas because there's a toxic overload of energy. So that's where you get diabetes, you get high blood sugar, you may get start getting hypertension and metabolic dysfunction. So this is an interesting concept and topic because it, it means that we all are a little bit different in how we approach our metabolic health. And it also means that we don't necessarily have deranged or dysfunctional metabolic health at a larger body weight. We may have it at a lower body weight. And, but the key is to really kind of pay attention to the abdominal, um, abdominal obese, obesity, the abdominal fat that starts to accumulate. So, you, so when you see the man with skinny arms, skinny legs, and like a big beer belly looking thing, he likely has a, a lower personal fat threshold. It's, and again, it seems to be genetically determined and it seems in a very generic way that Caucasians tend to be able to have more body weight before they get diabetic or fatty liver. Whereas people who live in the East, East, East Indians, Chinese Asians may have a lower personal fat threshold. And that's why you see more people in that community, community getting diabetic before they get clearly overweight. So just a really interesting conversation and topic around why this happens seems to be genetically determined and um, it can really inform how we proceed in our metabolic health journey, um, whether your threshold is low, whether your threshold is high and how we deal with energy toxicity. So thanks for listening and I hope you find that as interesting as I do. Okay, talk soon. Bye.